This is a scene from John Putch's film Route 32. Our two heroes are on a cold winter day having a conversation over a beer as guys will do while throwing rocks into a lake, which also doesn't surprise me. I love the color here. I love the color here, but this is just too warm. I want to be able to get these shots to match. There's a really useful feature inside Final Cut. If we go up to Window, go down to Show and Workspace, Comparison Viewer, Keyboard Shortcut, Control, Command 6. And what it does is it shows me the timeline. I can see the next edit. Let's do it here instead. So the viewer is the shot underneath the playhead. The comparison viewer shows me the next shot or the previous shot, which makes it easier for me to compare. Well, this is an important color look right here. So what I want to do is I want to save a shot. I put the playhead on the shot, go to Frame Browser, and click Save Frame. And notice that it's now captured a screenshot of what was under my playhead in the timeline. I could capture up to 30 of these. I'm just going to capture one. If I need to delete it, by the way, just highlight it, hit the delete key. Okay, so with this set, I'm going to close this. This now shows my winter scene. I go over to here, and I can see, oh yeah, look, kind of warm, needs to be cooler, needs to be less saturated. So how do we fix that? Select the clip. We'll go to color wheels. First thing that I want to do is I want to make the whole picture bluer. So I'm going to grab global and drag it toward blue. Blue is here, green is here, red is there. Drag it toward blue. I want to desaturate it so it's not quite as colorful. And I want to darken the highlights. Pull the highlights down so the sky isn't so bright. And pump the midtones up a bit. Cool. So I've gone from this to a much wintier scene, probably a little bit more blue, right about there. In fact, I like that so much, I'm going to click Save Effects Preset. And I'm going to call this Winter Cool, and I'm going to save it in the Color Grading Presets. Winter Cool, and click Save. So I've now saved this color preset. I have all these other shots which are way too warm, so I'm going to select the shots that I want to correct, go to the Effects Browser, go to, go to Color Grading Presets, and go down to Winter Cool, there's a lot of them right there, and double-click it. And it's now applied that preset to all of my clips, so they now have that same look. Now, if I want to go back and change it, for instance, here I think the black level is a little bit too high. Too many clips selected, sorry. Pull the shadows down a bit. There we go. The nice thing about the comparison viewer is it allows you to capture still frames of varying scenes that you're working with to be able to compare one shot against the scene master to make sure that the colors are agreeing between all the different shots that you're working with. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Video Scopes and Color Grading in Apple Final Cut Pro 11. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 382. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. Almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a wide variety of software, and it's updated monthly. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.